Hey guys, and welcome back. Behind me is my 2003 AMG G55. And while I love this vehicle so much, reliability is not what I would say that this is. Now, she came with a whole slew of issues and right now tackling the transfer case motor, that has been the hardest issue that I have had. And I will go into detail in another video about that. But like I said, reliability is not her strength. So I went out and bought something that is reliable. Well, after searching all through the interweb and online and in person, I came up with a Porsche Cayenne. And I will tell you guys, I have not been happier with a vehicle in a long time. Every day, this thing amazes me with what it can do and the features that it has. Now, I looked at things like Mercedes S-Classes and Lexus and BMWs. And really for the price point, this vehicle was the best vehicle I could get that did everything I needed. Now, of course, I had to have a four-door vehicle because of my daughter. So this has the reliability I was looking for and every amenity I was looking for. Let's just take a quick look around and I'll explain a little bit more. All right, so the first thing that I wanted was something that looked a little sporty. Now this one, the color is not necessarily my favorite color, but it does the job and she does have that sporty look. It is a Porsche, so it feels good. Just everything about this I really enjoy. There's so many little features and tricks to it, but I mean, it's even got the little wing on the back. It, you know, not a big deal, but it looks kind of cool. The nice thing is this one comes with the, the tow package on there. It's got the reverse camera, the easy up access door, which I love, the folding seats so that you can store whatever you want back here. It's got the shade in the back. This one came with all the WeatherTech stuff, so that was really nice. Let's put this down. I figured the best way to talk about this was to give it a drive. There are so many things that these Porsches have. Now this is a 2014 model, so she has some age on her, but I will tell you, it has everything that I want. It's got dual climate control. It's got heated and cooled seats. It's got a heated steering wheel, which I found out has a little button under here that you press and you can do it. In fact, when I was driving it around, I was a little upset that it didn't have the side mirrors where it tells you there's a car behind you. Well, there's a button right here that you can press and that comes on. It will connect to my cell phone if I hook it up via the USB cable, or I can use Bluetooth, so that's really nice that it will allow me to be able to play anything I want. It has plenty of room in the vehicle for everything that I need for my daughter. It's got her car seat back there, and I can still fit four adults in here with the car seat, so it is amazing that way. Miles per gallon. I'm amazed. I'm getting somewhere between 2022, 20, depending if I'm in the city or if I'm on the interstate. So not bad. I will tell you one thing that I learned about this is that the gas tank is huge in this. So it costs quite a bit of money to fill up, but you're not filling up as often. So that's a good thing as well. One of my favorite things is every day I find something else out about this vehicle. Like I was saying earlier, it also has the tow package and I think this can tow somewhere around 7,000 pounds. So jet skis, perfect. Small um, trailers, absolutely can do that with this. It is a good utilitarian vehicle. And with the trailer package, it also has the rear view camera on there, the easy open rear uh, gate so that you can just press the button or use your key fob. It also has the key that looks like the little Cayenne, which is kind of cool because it looks like a little Porsche. So far, I've been using this for about a month or two. And one of my biggest pet peeves is I buy vehicles that I'm going to use as a daily driver and they usually have what I consider no soul. They don't have the interior how I would like it. They don't have all the amenities and that's partially my fault. I mean, I could definitely go out and spend an absorbent amount of money on a vehicle these days and get everything that you want. But this vehicle for about $20,000, you can't beat everything that you get. I love the interior. I love driving it. 
it's not quite a sports car. It's not quite a SUV. It's kind of a in the middle, if I had to classify what I consider driving this to feel like. But then it does even have on the instrumentation, I can scroll through and I can look at everything from navigation to audio to vehicle dynamics, tire pressure, trip, phone, and then back to a nav screen, which shows me a map. Really cool to have that on there. Though I will tell you, I really don't use it for anything other than it looks cool. If there was one thing that I wish that this car had, it would be, I wish that it had CarPlay in there and wireless so that I could just put my map up there. I mean, it does have a map system, but I never use it. I use my cell phone for just about everything. So with that being said, you can obviously upgrade the head unit and do some differences with it. But for right now, for what I'm using it for, this thing is absolutely perfect. I do like that it's got presets for both passenger and driver side. That's kind of a nice little touch. Now, when I was looking for cars, like I said, I was looking at a Mercedes S-Class. And I will tell you, the amenities that this car has are very comparable to the amenities of the S-Class. And it is a better price point. Overall, I can say this about the Cayenne. Do I think it's the best vehicle out there? Absolutely not. Am I in love with it for the price point, the features you get, the drivability, everything about it? Yes. I actually look forward to driving this vehicle, which is amazing for a daily driver for me. It's got so many more features than almost any other car that I have. The only car that has about the same amount of features is the Bentley. And of course, getting Carson in there is not really practical. It does have back seats and I have had her in there once or twice. Plus, I don't have to worry about where I park this or if I leave it for a long period of time. It fits in with normal traffic and makes it very easy on me. So the question is, do you need a Porsche Cayenne? I'm just gonna say yes. Usually I go, no, you don't need one. No, this is, this is the vehicle that you should purchase. If you're in the market right now for a vehicle and you're looking for an SUV, you want four doors, you want it to have all the amenities, these are a great vehicle for the money. Like I said, $20,000, you get all of this, you get everything that you can want, heated cooled seats, heated steering wheel, driver controls, I mean everything's up on the steering wheel, you get your full display, it's touch screen, you can hook it to your Bluetooth. I can't think of anything that this doesn't have. Actually, I just did. It will not drive for you, which is not a bad thing. I still think right now with the technology we have, you should still be driving your own vehicle. But other than that, it has everything that you could want. So if you're in the market for a used vehicle, I suggest you truly look at the Porsche Cayenne. I don't think that you're gonna find a better value, a better vehicle, or more fun from one of those vehicles in that price range. All right, guys, hopefully you've enjoyed this. I just wanted to show you that I did get something that was actually reliable, especially after I bought the G-Wagon. So, like, subscribe, share. We'll catch you next time.